Every language has ways of indicating ideas of possession. In English, we use possessive words like my, your, his, her, its, and their. We also have possessive words, mine, yours, hers, and theirs. In Kuala possession, translated my, your, his, and so on, is indicated by adding something in the beginning. So it looks like this. It's called a prefix. And um, if we look at this word for smiling or to be smiling, it would be it would be added to the beginning of the word that is our prefix. And our suffix would be, it'll be attached to the word at the end. The special word squaw is also used for emphatic possession, which is, which in English is expressed with extra stress on possessive words, as in, it's my money. Nasqua Natala. And here are our prefix and suffix. So na for my, un, your. And you add the s suffix to the end of your word for his, her, its. And then your barred l for our. And then this is your prefix. And then your word goes here. And then hi at the end for you folks. And then also for there, you would add an s suffix. Now let's listen to our models. My mother. Tan. Our mother. Tan. Tan. Your mother. Tan. Tan. And you folks' mother. Tan. Hi. Tan. Hi. And his mother. Tan. Tan. The forms meaning my and your are prefixes, while the forms meaning our, his, her, its, their are suffixes. Just as in the previous section, when there is more than one you, hi is put at the end. When words with the possessive prefix and suffixes are used in a noun phrase, they must be preceded by an article, just as any other noun, as in hiatsin natan, my mother goes. Forms meaning my and your are prefixes while the forms meaning our and his, her, its, their are suffixes. Also, just as the previous section, when there is more than one you, hi is put at the end. When words with possessive prefixes and suffixes are used in a noun phrase, they must be preceded by an article, just as any other noun, as in ya, sa, natan, my mother goes. Klalem differs from English, where the possessive word takes the place of the article. We do not need to say, the my mother goes. In fact, this is ungrammatical in English, but in Klalem, the article must be there. Just as with other nouns, words with possessive pronouns can be used as nouns or verbs. For example, chits and Natan, I know my mother, or Natan ut, are you my mother? The possessive prefixes and suffixes are never stressed. Also in fluent, connected speech, the schwa is usually dropped in the my and your prefixes. So for example, my mother, right here, natan, you drop the schwa, it'd be ntan. Or antan, it'd be ntan. And our kunawi. That's it for possessive pronouns. Quite.